Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Cooking Guff, and tonight I'm going to teach you guys how to make Cheetos Flamin' Hot Spotted Dick. And here's what you're going to need for this recipe. You're going to need a pudding mold that's at least, I think, 1.5 liters. I got mine on the Kroger app. You're going to have to have a pot with a lid to put it in also. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of blended Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Seven ounces of shredded beef suet. The reason why mine looks the way it does is because it melted in the mail and I had to use the food processor to re-shred it. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be refrigerated until you open it. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One fourth a teaspoon of salt. Two thirds a cup of caster sugar. One cup of currants. One cup of cow breast milk. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And the zest of one large lemon. But hold up, we're not stopping there. We're gonna make the custard. Two thirds of a cup of Cheetos Flamin' Hot Puffs. Four egg yolks. One third of a cup of granulated sugar. One cup of cow breast milk. One cup of heavy cream. And two teaspoons of cornstarch. First, dust your Cheetos in the food processor and then remove to measure. Then, throw in your flour, your Cheetos, your caster sugar, salt, baking powder, and beef suet and pulse until it looks like sand. After that, transfer into a mixing bowl and then mix together all of your other dick ingredients until fully combined. Now spoon that dick batter into your greasy mold. Once that's done, throw in some aluminum foil into your pot and then pour in your water and bring to a boil. Insert your dick gently. I steamed mine for four hours, but you could probably get yours done in two. When you finally pull your dick back out, it should look like this. For your custard mix together, your granulated sugar, your cornstarch, your eggs, and your Cheetos until fully combined. Then heat up your milk and cream until little bubbles form. Next, temper your Cheeto egg mixture by pouring in a half cup of the warm cream. While still whisking constantly, pour everything back into the pot. And it's finally done whenever you can leave a path on the back of a spoon. Alrighty, now for the taste test. After many hours and a lot of sweat, um, here it is. Spotted dick, everyone. I'm thinking this is still warm. It's kind of crumbly. Yep, it is still warm. Get some without. It's kind of falling apart. I think it's because I put the Cheetos in there, but. It's moist, but it's not like moist like I feel like it's probably supposed to be. Not really feeling any heat yet. Well, a little bit. Let's try some of the custard. Um, as for Tito's flaming Hot, Spotted Dick, um, I would probably never have this dick again. Um, it is a one-time dick. I'm starting to feel the burn a little bit. It's not bad. I made this as more of like a joke. So if you're watching this and thinking, oh God, this guy, I made it as a joke. The raisins aren't bad. Here's what it looks like after I've you know, torn into it. It's very kind of crumbly. I've never had spotted dick before, so I can't, I can't compare this dick to another dick. Not all dicks are going to be the same. Maybe I shouldn't have left this dick in for like four hours, maybe two, maybe two hours. It gets soft in your mouth and goes down easy. I wouldn't say it's spongy like it's supposed to be. A lot, really crumbly. Would I make spotted dick again without the Flamin' Hot Cheetos? Yes, I would. I would like to try it, but that's all I got for you guys tonight. Do as I always say and just have fun with it. If you're going to make food experiments that last all night. I mean, I had this dick going all night. And it just now got done. Not too long ago. Feeling a little bit burnt whenever I swallow. Just have fun with it. If you're going to manufacture uh, filming equipment... Just have fun with it.
Also, guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and then hitting the little bell for the notifications. So that way, whenever I post a brand new video, you'll know that the Cooking Goth has posted a brand new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a share, and a comment for the algorithm, please. Have a great night, everyone.